Welcome back, Spazites, to another Lego. Whoa, hello. <laughs> another Lego, not Transformers, video. Today, we've got the Klutz certified Lego Make Your Own Movie uh, stop motion animation book, which is really cool. It comes with 36 Lego elements. We got faces, heads, hair, torsos, bodies, and a bunch of cool little uh, accessories for your minifigures, as well as a little green base plate. Not too big. It's only as big as this could be. Uh, there might be a few stacked in there, but it looks like there's only one little base plate. But anyway, we're going to flip through this little and then look at all of our little... Uh, our stuff here. I just thought this was really, really cool. I have been toying with the idea of doing uh, a short stop animation just for fun, just to see how I like it. I've never done it, but I've wanted to. I've wanted to do a a Lego web comic for a long time, but never got around to it. Maybe uh, that idea will bleed into a Lego stop animation franchise. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the book a little. Uh, let's see, we got... I, I'm not familiar with Klutz, but I guess they've they've been around for a while. Let's see what Klutz is all about. Klutz uh, creates activity books and other great stuff for kids age 3 uh, to 103. We began our corporate, corporate life in 1977 in a garage we shared with a Chevrolet Impella. Although we've outgrown the first office, Klutz Galactic Headquarters is still staffed entirely by real human beings. For those of you who collect mission statements, here's ours. So that's cool. Uh, feel free to pause and read that if you really want to. But yeah, let's uh, make your own movie. We've got lots of different stuff. Mini movies, Bricks in the Wild, Time Lapse Build, uh, Make Your Own making your first movie. I have wanted to do time-lapse builds of my bigger sets, so maybe I can, uh, glean, gleam? Maybe I can get something from this, uh, this book here about, uh, here's all the character parts and, uh, accessories it comes with, which is quite a bit. We're gonna look at those individually as we go. Uh, what you need, a lamp, a tripod. Uh, yeah, cool. Wait a second. Animation software. Yeah, that's easy. I'm sure there are some free ones. Lots of cool pieces here. Hey, just lots of stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna read through this a lot, which is uh, there's a lot going on here. So this is really cool. I think I'll get a lot of good ideas from this. I actually picked this up at Michael's and they're on their magazine rack near the front of the store. Not sponsored. Um, I don't go in there very often, but my fiance ordered something, and I do know they carry some Lego merchandise. So I thought I'd go in there and look around. I think I'd seen this last time I was up there. But it is a little pricey. Michael's price is uh, $24.99 US. You can also see the Canadian and UK prices. Um, it was a little pricey, but Randy told me I could get it. So I could do an unboxing and maybe even use the book in the future. So let's see how to get into our uh, our pieces here. Uh, let's see, it says we got a, a fold-out background. What? Six fold-out backgrounds, props and scenery. Okay, so how do I... <clears throat> how does this come off? I want to get it off safely. Is it held on with tape? Yes, I think it is. Okay, there's tape. I untaped one part. Well, let's untape the other part. With Cuddy. We haven't seen Cuddy in a little bit. So, uh, come on. Uh, I didn't think this video would be that long, but I've already just been talking for four minutes. Oh, there's more tape here in the center. Cuddy, you're not doing your job, bud. There we go. Okay, now I should... That should just come right out, right? Ugh, come on. Yay! Okay, so here's all our pieces. We have a... One little square green plate. Um... We have a little... Whoops. Skateboard. Where'd the other wheel go? Did I already lose a piece? Oh, I flung it into the other one. So we got a skateboard accessory. Cool. We got... Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I mean, I know that piece. I've seen the piece, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to be in this context. We got 
a diamond. I'm going to zoom in here so we can see these better. We got a diamond piece. That's cool. I like those. Those are always fun. We got a pair of orange flippers. See a pair of handcuffs. A banana and a printed pizza tile. So that's everything for there. Let's see our... Uh, we have enough pieces to build... Oh, we also have a, a neck bracket piece. We have enough pieces to build three minifigures, because there are three legs. They're all plain legs, none of them are printed. We do have five torsos to choose from. We have police officer torso. We have purple shirt top. We have a uh, red flannel torso. We have uh, a green ladies top. And a plain black top. Now let's see what we have for our hair pieces. I'll grab out all the hair pieces first on their own, and then we'll look at the heads finally. But we have... Let's see, we have a... Women's ponytail. We have a police officer's hat. We have a, a short brown haircut. We have a blue helmet that we can fit either a diving mask on or just a plain generic visor. We also have a neck piece, a scarf. We have a bob haircut. I believe that's what that's called. We have another men's hair piece. And then we have a, a blue baseball cap. Now, I've never noticed this on the back of the baseball cap mold, but there is a little thing to make it look like it's actually a baseball cap. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then our heads, we have six different heads to choose from. That's pretty cool. I almost want an extra set of this. Just in case I, I lose all the pieces. <laughs> oh, okay, we have... Generic, straight-faced lady head. We got someone holding their breath. And... That's actually a double-sided head. I'm going to look at the other one to see if it's double-sided. I don't think it was. But we got holding breath and then happy. Uh, the lady head only has one picture on it. We have... Oh, he's got a little scar on his eyebrow. And a sad face. Okay. Let's see. We got a smiling lady head. Another generic one-sided head. We got classic minifigure, not, not classic classic, not the old school classic one, but the newer classic one, a very plain generic minifigure head. And then last but not least, I dropped a piece again. We have a worried lady and a kind of kind of okay lady. She's not too thrilled with life, but stuff. <laughs> oh, let's let's build a couple of figures really quick. Um, I like the idea of a police officer. I don't want him to have matching pants. I just think that would look too weird. Um, let's make it a... Um, since we have two lady torsos, I guess we'll make this a male police officer. But we're going to say he's a uh, young rookie cop. And right now he's got a mouthful of food because he's, he's getting a call on the police band. Oh no, that's not going to work very well, is it? Having two faces showing at the same time? I mean, I guess it could be okay. But let's, uh, let's put some hair on him to cover up that back face. Yeah, that works. Okay, so he doesn't have his police hat on, and that's fine. But he's got to get a crook. He's got to catch a crook. Yeah, and because he's a young officer, he's uh, he's on a skateboard. <laughs> okay, let's see. Our next figure. We can only do three figures. I wish they had just given us 
They gave us five torsos and six heads. They could have given us at least five legs. Fortunately, I have lots of spare legs, so I can actually build a couple more figures. Uh, let's see, this guy, he's wearing blue jeans, light blue jeans instead of dark ones, so whatever. And then I don't think any of these pants go with these tops. So, <laughs> oh, let's see. Our lumberjack is going to have a scar. And then I don't really have anything for... Yeah, that's a little disappointing. I wish they had given at least a couple more pair of legs. That's it. I didn't, I'm not asking for a lot. Just a couple more pair of legs to go with these torsos. So I can make more than three figures at a time. Like I said, fortunately I got plenty of extra parts uh, in my parts collection. So anyway, yeah. That's a cute little video. Uh, let's like look at some of our backdrops here. We have a uh, volcanic backdrop with a city in the background. Um, and these do... Oh, wow, okay. They fold out quite quite a bit. And I just <laughs> shooshed all of my parts. <laughs> so I'll just move this anyway. So we have a volcanic volcano backdrop here. I uh, flip it over, and we've got a deep sea backdrop. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got a big field. And on the other side, we have the earth, so you can do an outer space one. We have some ice, pretty cool, and a city street. Uh, here we have... Oh, these are, I guess these are just going to be storyboards or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to go through all of this and figure out what all this is. File formats. So, backgrounds and extras. We'll go through all this uh, eventually. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this particular book. I think it's really neat. I think it'll help me if you're just getting into a stop motion animation for Lego or probably other stuff. This would probably be a good book to get for, uh, for ideas, pointers, tips, tricks, whatever. Uh, yeah, anyway, wish me luck on my future endeavors in, in uh, Lego animation, and until next time, please subscribe below, feel free to comment, like, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff, and until next time, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye, don't forget to wash your hands for 20 seconds, top and back, front and back, top and bottom, whatever, and if you go out, wear a mask, bye everybody.